This is Trisha Lynn, and this is um, Moments in Magic. Um, I am here, and joining me over Google Hangouts is this guy, who is, uh, you'll see him in the black and white photo. You'll, okay. I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm Michael Lee. I'm with uh, TwinCitiesGeek.com. Oh, I got that address right. And various <laughs> Twin Cities, Twin Cities, uh, science fiction convention stuff as well. A lot of, a lot of things along those lines. And uh, Michael and I met through the local science fiction uh, convention convergence. And one thing we learned about uh, each other as we uh, work together is that both of us like to play magic. And actually, if I remember correctly, both you and I were doing the um, M19 pre-release at convergence, were we not? Correct, yep. How did you do with that one? I I think I did two two in that one. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's you know did pretty yeah. That's my you know my my goal. I've I've I played Magic a lot. You know, a fair amount when it like was first out twenty uh, twenty three years ago, mm -hmm. and then and then only dipped in uh, off and on over the years and early and within about you know earlier this year. Um, basically as I was kind of looking for something to get me out of the house when I had a job where I was working from home, uh, and for a while for last year and various other things was looking for something to get me out of the house mm -hmm. and, uh, paper magic, uh, fit that need really, really well. <laughs> um, as, uh, there are a number of very good stores nearby where I live. Uh, and provided provided that activity, but didn't wasn't like signing up for another convention sort of thing. It was just yeah. totally yeah because you know, going going to a gaming convention can be very expensive yeah and it can be very um, time consuming and just being able to pop off to your local game store to just play a couple rounds of Magic is is really fun. So yeah. both of us went to the Guilds of Raptica pre pre release. Um, I went to. Dreamer's Vault in Minneapolis off of Hiawatha Avenue. And where did you go? I went to uh, Lodestone Coffee and Games in Minnetonka. Ooh, sounds pretty cool. Um, I played in two pre-releases that day. I did the 9 a.m. one, and then I did another one at noon. And I think you did one at noon, and then... Yeah, they had one at noon, and then another one at 5 and then I stayed and did and did the first couple rounds at the one at 10 p.m. And then I eventually got tired and went home. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that like that's a lot of magic to be playing. That was like the most. I think it was the most I had done in a single day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, two of it. You know, because especially especially pre-releases being four rounds, where you know I'm used to primarily three round. Uh, sets mm -hmm. uh, made for made for a long day, but it was fun and and you know and it was coffee day, mm -hmm. so I felt I felt I could get my uh, you know and one of the things especially about Lodestone uh, that I like a great deal is you know it's not it isn't just a really good game store, but it also is a really good coffee shop. So mm -hmm. so that you know that combination um works really well for me um yeah like dreamer's fault in minneapolis doesn't have like an indoor coffee shop thing. yeah they do have a little refrigerator case and a freezer case full of like hot pockets and drinks yeah and stuff. so you can and they have microwaves and they have free yep. coffee and i mean yeah. the coffee they have is just you know regular direct coffee but there's also yeah. there's a chinese restaurant nearby and there's a broker king nearby and so you know, it was easy for me to, like, leave at some part of the day. I, I basically got there, had breakfast, went to the first, uh, did the first pre-release, left for a bit and got lunch, and then did the second pre-release. And it's just like, ugh. It was, it was a long day of magic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been to, yeah, I've been to other Dreamers, um, and, and yeah, and they're all, 
all quite good as well. I mean, yeah. I, as I said, I think I think the Twin Cities has lots of good good stores. I think it really does. And the other thing too is that um, Metric the Gathering Arena also did a Girls with Ravnica event that weekend, and basically in the free release packs that they gave you, on the back of the token cards there were codes that you could use to redeem on um, redeem on MTG Arena for a another sealed deck. And so as you can see, uh, luckily I actually I kept my token cards, but. I didn't see a code on mine. Luckily, Michael was kind enough to give me one of his codes. And now we are actually going to build a sealed deck together. Um, so the five guilds of Ravnica that are being uh, uh, featured in this expansion are Demir, Boros, Demir, which is blue, black, Boros, which is red, white, uh, Golgari, which is green, black, Selesnya, which is white, green, and who's the fifth one? Is it? Did I yeah. guess it? Is yeah, it, it which is blue? Is it? Yeah. Is it which is blue red? And so so basically all the cards that we open in the in this in these packs are gonna be the cards that will be lending towards probably one of those guilds. And so of the guilds that you uh that were available, which one did you like? Um, I had, I did three, three different ones, each time mm -hmm. picking a different one. Mm -hmm. First time I got Golgari, second time I got Izzet, and third time I got Demir. And mm -hmm. basically, I liked each one as I went more and more. I think Demir was my favorite, Izzet was my second favorite, and Golgari was my least of the three. Um, <laughs> I think, well, I think the trick with Golgari, especially, you know, is, is that one, um, and I, and that was also my more or less record of, of, I, you know, of, <laughs> of, I did better, I did better in each of them, uh, as, as I went, um, so. Yeah, I'm actually looking at my notes from, because I took notes on the games that I played, um, I'm really not that great of a player. I mean, I'm so, like, as I mentioned in the article that I wrote about MTG Arena, I'm very much a casual player. And um, and so for me, one of the reasons why I like to go to pre-releases is that nobody really knows what the cards do. Yeah. And so you get a chance to explore and have fun. And what I ended up doing is that I ended up, I started with an Is It deck. Um, and then what I noticed is that after I built my Is It deck, I realized I had enough cards left over to build a Golgari deck. So I so basically if my first round didn't go well with the Is it deck, I would sideboard completely into the Golgari deck and just play a little around play around with that. So that was a lot of fun. Um and then the second pre-release I did Selesnia, but it turns out that I had um green, white, black instead was was strong and then the other half of that was strong that was strong was blue white and red and so i made again two more decks this time with three colors instead of two and so that one i didn't do i didn't do as well i think i went oh and oh three and drop for the second pre-release and the first pre-release i went one and three yeah. um but yeah but i still had a lot of fun and so now we're gonna we're gonna do the basically the same thing that we, that we did in our individual pre-releases, which is to open up 15 packs of cards. Uh, we're going to open up these 15 card packs, six of them. I'm going to put a deck together. So let's go ahead and start. So now I'm going to open all the cards. And it basically opens them up all at once. Whoa, we got a Graska. Um, nice. So uh, out of all the six packs that we opened, these are the rares that we got. We have Experimental Frenzy which is a red card. It's an enchantment. Um, you may look at the top card of your library and you can play the top card and you can't play cards from your hand. So this might be interesting if we feel like going in it is it. Um, this is definitely an is it card and totally not a Boros card. Yeah. Um, Pelt Collector, Creature oh. Elf Warrior. Whenever, whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector, Put a plus one plus one counter on Pelt Collector. And as long as it has three or more counters on it, it has travel. That's going to be pretty good. We've got Raska Golgari Queen, which is a Planeswalker. Um, the plus two is you may sac 
sacrifice some of the permanent, and if you do, gain one life, draw a card. Number th uh, the minus three is destroy target non land permanent with a converted mana cost of three or less. And number nine is you get an emblem when with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to your player, that player loses the game. This 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 ultimate this ultimate is going to be really scary if we decide to play to if we're able to get up to that to play yeah. against other people. And then we've got Deafening Clarion, which is a Boros card. Sorcery, you choose either one or both. I love it when it says one or both, by the way. Yeah, um, those are fun. Like, if it only says choose one, that's not a sorcery card that I really want to try and play. Unless the one or the other is actually really good. So this one says choose one or both. We're probably going to... If we play this, I would choose both. <laughs> Deafening Clarion deals three damage to each creature, and then the creatures you control gain lifelink to end of turn. That's going to be awesome. Uh, we have Mausling Secrets, which is an undergrowth card. And undergrowth is the Golgari mechanic, which ca which cares about how many creature cards you have in your graveyard. Search a library for a black card with a converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle the library. That's an instant. And the last one we have is a Hatchery Spider. Again, I think this is Golgari, because it also yep. has undergrowth. Yeah. When you cast this spell, reveal the top X cards in your library, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. You may put a green permanent card with converted mana cost X, or less from among them on the battlefield, and then put the rest on the bottom of your library. So now... And actually, that see... one, that, that Hatchery Spider was the one that was my Golgari promo card. Nice. So here are the rest of the cards we have. We've got 200 Witnesses, a Righteous Blow, Stalwart, two Tenth Drift District Guards, Luminous Spawns. I love the new art on Luminous Spawns, by the way. That's so interesting. One Ladev Guardian, Flight of the Equinauts. We've got a lot of decent blue. Maximize Altitude. That's a Demir card. That seems like a Demir card. Here's some more. That's a, definitely a Demir card. Oh, I love this card. This this card really got me a couple times. The yeah. Flash Enchantment. Um, yeah. Devious Cover Guards got me a couple times. Yeah, we've got we've got more blue than white. Um, yeah. so Muse Drake, Wish Coin Crab, Selective Snare, Barrier of Bones looks good. Hired Poisoner. This is good. This is a good card. Yeah. There's our Mausoleum Secrets, Severed Strands. This is also good. Um, so we've got a lot of... We've got it... Let's see, one, two, three, four... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight black cards. Well, nine if you count the doubles. Creeping Chill. Looks pretty good. Moodmark Painter. I haven't seen this one yet. That's kind of rad. Yeah, I love the art for that one. That's oh, yeah. Fun. No, that looks great. Dosser of Lights. This is just a vanilla card. Four, five, four, four. No, four, five, four, five. This is good. Max Lay's Philosophy. I love this guy. This guy, this guy is featured in the uh, trailer for Builders, Builds of Rack Guy. He's just like zooming down the um, the street. He's 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 funny. Funny little goblins. Uh, that's good. Oh, we have a lot of red. Yeah, I think we, I think we do have a lot of pretty good red cards. Yeah. And then mentor is. Oh, mentor I love I card. love the reference on the boar, the yeah. boar, because the flavor for the boar. Oh, they don't have the flavor. Yeah, they on. don't have. Unfortunately, they don't have the flavor text on the uh, uh, um, arena cards. Because oh, they reference right right they here. reference there's a boar guard. A boar god. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yes, yeah, some cruel yeah. druids believe that boars are spawn of the great Ilarg, the mighty raised boar, who will one day rise and level the city. That's awesome. So I, I really just want cool. that. Eventually, I hope that's setting up a card. <laughs> that would be great. Because I want the Don't legendary boar. I want the legendary boar god. <laughs> well, are you going to make a commander deck with him? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This one, Book Devourer. You know, it's funny. I tried to play this in my Izzy deck, and I just couldn't... I couldn't find a reason to do it, you know? I don't like, think it's... Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't I'm not really that excited by it. 
Like, even though it's an uncommon, I don't think this is a really good card. No. There's our rare. Prey Upon. Love Prey Upon. Yep. That's a great card. Two of these, that's great. No, three of those. Yeah. We might be going into green because there's three of those. I think green is... I, I'm, I'm feeling is really strong. strong on that. Because we got... That's... I mean, a lot of our rares were Golgari. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Crushing Canopy. Only for three. Pitch Claw. Nice. Nice. Uh, yep. Yep. This guy's really funny. Oh, I love this card. This card yep. is great. Yep. I think I think it got a couple people with that one. Yeah. Factory Spider, there's our rare again. Seed Form is also great. Yep. So, here, this is, we have the Discover Dispersal Split card, which might be a reason to go into Blue Black. Because Surveil is a great mechanic. I enjoy playing around Surveil a lot. Yeah. We've also got the Dark Blade Agent. Um, that gives you that. This also draws you more cards. Up from Takedown is pretty good. Goblin Myth. This is great for an Izzet deck. Yep. So is this. And, the, and this. Sonic Assault. The Jumpstart mechanic is great too. But look here. We've got a blue. We've got a. We've got a Golgari one. Do you think? Do you think we might end up going Golgari? I don't. I, that's where I'm leaning to, but but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Right, right. Okay. So there's that. Of course, we've got the Cause, Planeswalker. Because I really, you know, whenever we get a Mythic, yeah, um, you know that. I mean, it it's and now and this is very much even the the. Uh, you know, even if it's not like the best competitive choice to make, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun from a uh, play the cards that you might not get a chance to play with otherwise. Which is basically um, what pre-releases are good for. They're good yeah, yeah, for yeah. Letting you do fun things with cards that you would never really normally get yeah. on your own. This one's actually a pretty yeah. decent card. Yeah, I think. Oh, I yeah, wanna, I, I think the next. I think once we finish opening up my packs, because I have ten packs to open. I think I might want to try and stuff this Deafening Clarion in a deck. That might be fun. Mentor's a good mechanic, too. So we've got some good multicolored Celestial creatures. Yeah. We've got the Jameer Guild Gate. We do have a Bulgari Guild Gate, which is good. And we got the Gateway Plaza. So do you want to maybe... Let's just see what we have now in terms of black and green. So for black creatures... For, for all the creatures that we have, we've got, let's see, there's not counting the Dark Blade Agent, there's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can make cuts. We can make cuts yeah. and it'd be easy to do. So, yeah. so let's go ahead and just... Let's take a look at these one more time. Um, Barrier Bones gets in because it when you enter the battlefield, it surveils one. Sure. So this is a good turn one play. And we've got yeah. three of them. So yeah. let's put all three of those in. And the good thing about Arena is that it, it actually puts in... It auto-suggests land. So oh, as, you put in, as you put in cards, it will recommend the the amount of land the uh, amount of land we need. Like for example, if we're gonna put pelt collector in, which I think we should. Yeah, we absolutely sh should that. We, yep. It's now gonna say, hey, we need five forests and twelve swamps. Yeah, yeah. Um hired poisoner I think is a good one to put yep. in. Yeah. Right. And I, I and if anything if anything we might you know we might not need three barrier bones, but right. we'll, well I okay. well I we'll think we'll add them five. Yeah, we'll, we'll put them in for now. Them. And if yep. you want to take them out if you want to take a couple out, we can. Yep, that's what um, I Moonbark Cater is a, is a two black black with undergrowth. I think this gets in. What do you think? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Dasser of Lights, yes or no? It's good. We'll see. I, I think we have other good... I think our green big creatures are better. better. Yeah. Um, well, the, so, I mean, it's so playable, was, but... Yeah, yeah but so like Vigor Spore Worm is definitely getting in then, because yeah. this is a great card. Yeah, yeah, I think Vigor Spore, Hatchery Spider, and Siege Worm all get in. Okay. Do we want As... to have this Reach Defender? 
I say yes. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of flyers. We're not we very. Don't. We're not going to have a lot we of flyers. Be, so well we then want... let's let's also put the Hitch Club Reckless in. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about the Dev, Dev Corin Dissident? And how many do you want to put in? I think it's a he... two drop. We don't. We only have one thing of the two slot right now. Yeah, and two drops are important. So yeah, I think. So it's... how many of them do you want to put in? How many do we have? Three. I would actually put in three of those because we definitely need a two drop for sure, and mm -hmm. we don't have a lot of other two drops. Okay, so we are now at fourteen creatures and seventeen land. Yeah. Um, we've got these two multicolored cards: the Glow Spore Shaman, at which is a two drop. And then there's also the Orc Orctron Assassin, which is a three drop with Death Touch. Oh yeah, that one's and it's got lure as well, so that's yeah. busted. Yeah, that's busted to do. <laughs> so let's do that. Yeah, that one. That one's. And then maybe uh, do the shaman too. Or do you want both shamans or just one? Because now we're gonna be we we are now at fifteen creatures, and yeah. our our um. Our map curve is looking not like a curve. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, we definitely need to... We need to maybe slow down a bit. Um, okay, let's look at... Okay, so let's... So we're not going to do any of these because there's Flesnia. We're not going to do yeah. this because it's Demir. Um, we have only two creatures in the three mana slot. We can... Do you want to put in the worry, worry or copy or not? It's a it's a three two with vigilance for three. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Uh, I mean, vigilance is good. I mean, one of those. Maybe just one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, basically, we're not going to do the Dowser of Light Sun because. I think we've got enough big. I think we got, yeah. we're got we good on big. And especially because we do want to put. I don't think you've got Raska in. And yeah, well, want. she's not a creature. She's a planeswalker. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking so ahead. Put, yeah, so we put Raska in. Yeah. And that's... So now we've got 16 creatures, one planeswalker, 17 land. How's that coming along? What do that's... you think? That's reasonable because then we we should look at what instants and sorceries that Matt, you know, everything. I don't think we, yeah, I don't think we got any enchantments. No, no, and okay, so but we want some hero out because they were Demir. Yeah, I I think we should definitely put the uh, in urban ut utopia. I don't thing. think I don't think we I don't think we have any good reason to to be perfectly honest because I think I think with only two colors, mm -hmm. utopia, you know, I. If we were starting to splash for more, then uh, I would okay. have Utopia, but it wouldn't mm -hmm. actually get us with two color. We'll we'll hit our curve, but it's okay. important. Like we want prey upon. Yes. You know we want prey upon. Um, I think. Uh, status we want to statue. Status to statue. That's yeah. good because that's that can effectively be a removal because we're kind of light on. You know, severed strands because that helps us remove. Yep. Um, I don't. I'm not actually a big fan of mausoleum secrets because. Okay. Um, I like this one because it's almost like a card with jumpstart because. Yeah. That'd yeah. Be, that'd be fun. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, so correction canopy. Yes. Because we need, it's another way for, for us to deal with flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and yeah. it's also another way for us to deal with enchantments that um that yeah, uh, yeah. And, hold down and our creatures. I think there's a reasonable chance that we'll get one or the other. Definitely Pax favor. Yeah, that would be good. Pause for reflection. Do you like fog? I'm, no, I'm not a big fan of fog. <laughs> okay, so then uh, now, the, this is forty. This is a forty yeah. card deck. Now the thing yep. is. Let me go ahead and reset this so we can put the Gold Guard Guild Gates in. Yep, because we definitely want all of the... We want all the guild... We want all the gates that are possible, which is only just the one. We also want the Gateway Plaza. So now we've got 40 card deck, 6 swamps, 9 forests, 1 Gold Guard Guild Gate, and a Gateway Plaza. Yeah. Yep. We good? We're good. Cool. What do you want to call this deck? Oh, I'm not used to having to name decks. Uh, <laughs> that's 
How about Twin Cities Geek Golgari? Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twin Cities Golgari. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So the way this works is that um, uh, you're going to help me play with this, by the way. The way yep. this works is that at the very least, we are going to get 200 gems and three extra packs to crack. The more nice. the more things we win, the more the increase the the increased excuse me the higher rewards you get for prizes. If we win one game, we get 400 gems and three packs, all the way up to winning 2200 gems and three packs if we go seven in a row, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. No. But we could always hope. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start. Now, the way um, MTG Arena works is that um, you play against people who have their own decks, and um, it's pretty much the same way the regular MTG Online works, except it's got more animations, it's like fancier, um, there is a shared uh, sense of time. So we're going first, and we have a... We have a. <laughs> we can play out. You know, actually, this is a good hand because we're starting with two swamps, so we can surveil. And if we surveil, yeah. then we can go straight to the lands that we need. We'll yeah. be able to get out two. We'll, get, we'll be able to get out all of our defenders. Yeah. And if we can get at least one green, we'll be able to play either. We'll be able to play well, your copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be so able to play So, do you want to go ahead and copy. take this one? Yeah, I think we can, because I think we can play it right away, and the surveil okay. will fully help. Cool. So our opponent, whose name, who we can't actually, so the way you interact with opponents is that you use these emotes, and those are the only yeah. five that you can choose because we cannot be because people cannot be trusted um, on the yeah. internet to be yeah. kind. <laughs> so our opponent is Kyo Red, and we don't know anything else about them other than their name. So yeah. play the swamp, play on the barrier phones, and we're going to surveil. And we're gonna put this in the bottom. Yeah, because we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's the graveyard. Because it's a yeah. four drop. We can't do yeah. it. Yep, the graveyard. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, they're playing Demir. Uh, we got three swamps now. And the second barrier of bones. And this is also going to the graveyard because we don't have any green yet that we can play. Or do you want to put it put it back on top of the library? Um, no, I think we because I yeah I think if it's not a if it's not a if it's not green we want we we don't want it. Yeah. So we can also play at the third. And especially of and especially because, because yeah and also because then we wouldn't see anything better. <sighs> uh, I should that get, we we should keep it. That would should be keep it on top of that library. would. That way you would keep, yeah. Yep. That one goes on top of the library because we hope to get a green. Because even if we, even if we, you know, we can do nothing for a turn, and that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is an interesting enchantment they put. They have. Uh, so now we've got swamp, oh. and we can't do anything. <laughs> Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you put a charge counter, and they can draw cards, and they can also deal damage. They That's are looking, crazy. yeah. Oh, is it Endemir? Yeah. Um, well, we can, we can still block their stuff, and we've still got nothing but swamps. Yeah. We can block them all day, right now. Yeah. Draw a card. This is good draw cards. This is a card. This is a good card draw deck. If, if it's is it strongly is it with a little bit of Demir? Yeah. There Which you go. Here's it's a forest. Like... Yay. Uh, let's get out the copy. Yep. So we won't be able to attack with that. Yeah, we can't attack this turn, but we'll be able to we'll be able to attack next turn. Well, we wouldn't. Yeah, but we might be able to do other tricks. Well, they still can't attack us because. But they do. They are going to draw a card before the before the end of their turn, which makes sense. Yep. Yep. Because then they're going to be able to turn tap. This, by the way, this looks like our um, Riri, doesn't it? Like the creature, the character from uh, the deck to, the uh, Ironheart character from Marvel. Yeah, a little bit. So it looks I a lot like Riri. I... All right. So are they going to attack with the Guild Mage? I don't think they would. Nope. 
I'm not gonna attack the guild mage. Alright, so. Uh, do you wanna attack? So, what, what we can do what's, is. What's the one at the. We have the. We just got the assassin. Yep. Is all creatures. Let's play this out now so we can attack with it next turn. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Yep. Yay. Um. They have and let's see and even if we were to and actually favor, yeah because I because I think what we're gonna want to do mm -hmm. I mean preview wait hold off a turn mm -hmm. but but pax favor on the assassin and attack yeah. they will all have to block one damage you only have to do one damage to kill everything that they have because it's death pack. they all will have to block it right and so go ahead and. Pass without combat? Yeah, I yeah, I think, don't think we want to do any combat this turn. Okay, pass a turn. Because <clears throat> we can still block all day with this. Oh yeah, yeah, we plenty of block yeah, we can block all day. And but next turn we can wipe their board all their you know, we can wipe all their creatures if the you know, and it's, we'll mm -hmm. see how tapped out they are. Mm-hmm. Which, which Well they've only got two mana up right now and they can't yeah, they could and that's that means it's unlikely that yeah they, they aren't going to have the, the necessary sort of counter stuff. I mean, there they could be some counter spell or dispersal or yeah, but stuff I, like that. But I think we're in. I think, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think it's looking good. I think we can. So, Pax favor right now on the assassin and then attack? Yep, yeah, yeah, Pax favor on the assassin and then attack. Cool. Because then we can then we can get all three of theirs at once. Uh -huh. And actually, you'll want to attack with the copy as well. Okay. <clears throat> and, it, and I didn't want to tap with any of our uh, barriers so that we could use them to defend. Yeah, we don't need any reason to do that. Ooh, oh no! What did oh, they do? Oh, oh. Okay. They used they sacrificed their goblin crater maker to uh, oh, deal two damage. I I didn't even pay attention to that. That's the thing they yeah. could do. I'm sorry. Unless that was the thing they could do. All right. And now they're being really snotty about it. Oh, um, they should because <laughs> we could have. In retrospect, we should have done something different. Attack and then we... put the instant on. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Do you want to? Do you still want to try attacking with your copy? Um. No, no. Do you want a second main phase and destroy the guild mage? I think we can. Because, can we? Can you do a, sor a sorcery in the second main phase? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that, then. Ooh. Well, they're both dead. Yeah. <laughs> but it was satisfying. It was satisfying. It was good. We should have done that differently because, in retrospect, we should have prey upon first because that in and, and gotten rid of the uh, well, no, because if we prayed upon first, then our death toucher still would have died. No, it's okay, yeah. But now it's a good thing we could put this canopy in so we can kill this. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that, that canopy, putting the canopy in was a good idea. And we now have uh, one, two, three, four creatures in the graveyard. So, yeah, so. And I don't remember how many other cards we have with Underbear that are in our deck. Yeah, not a lot, but that's... Definitely the green ones. Oh, fun, those. fun, fun, fun. Now we get the fun. Oh, do you want to... Let's plus two and sack one of the bones. Yep, yep, yep. Because we oh don't boy. need those. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to keep at least one up so we can block the crap. Oh, uh, yep. Before I make you disappear. An unfortunate casualty. And we got a forest. Mm -hmm. Uh, no combat, pass a turn. Uh... I'm still going to hold this up, because you never know. Yeah. Okay. They're going to surveil. That's so cool. You see that effect? I love... Yeah, I, I also... I, Whisper Agent's one of my favorite arts. 
I think it looks cool. That looks really cool. I mean, I mean, Tamir is Batman, so. That's, <laughs> that's I so mean, true. Yeah. Dude, did you see the uh, flavor text? He has a job to finish, and it's you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. Well, no, we can block. Yeah. So we will. Yep. We'll sacrifice one of them. That's okay. Uh, let's play out Fifth get your tag and we're gonna pay with Little Swamp. Sure. And we're gonna plus this and sacrifice the bones, or do you wanna just I think we want what's what's the Whisper Agents it's, three or less? Uh Whisper, three or less. Uh, yeah, Whisper I think we I think we destroy the we destroy the whisper agent. Cool. Because because otherwise it's gonna because that's right. what's gonna take out. Hey, we're gonna lose the bones if mm -hmm. we you know. Yep. I mean. Yep. You're right. You're so right about that. <clears throat> Red Claude is a great card. Yeah. Well, drawing a card is, is mm -hmm. it's always nice to draw. A card. And it works, and it jump, and and it and it, and That's especially with jump jump start, it's really uh, um, more powerful than it first appears that second mm -hmm. that second time. Mm So we are currently stalled at twenty-one to twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not a this is not a game that that is has seen a lot of. Ooh, they have Lazav, Lazav, Lazav the Multifarious. Oh, that's an interesting one. Wow. In your graveyard with converted mask. Well, we'll see. I'll be very interested to see what happens. Well, that he's. So the only ones that are in the graveyard right now yeah, are the Crater nothing... Maker, the Guild Mage. Yeah, nothing. Actually, I... the Whelp. The, the Whelp, Whelp could be a problem. The Whelp could be a problem. Because, yeah. That was what <clears throat> and they jump started, so now that's going to be Exile. Because that's how that mechanic works. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to block the Minotaur. Yep. Yeah, block with the crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna block one. It. Wait, we can't... why couldn't we block? Oh! That's what happened. Alright, that. Okay. Alright. What? Because what happened is that this one, whenever they cast an ancient discord, oh, yeah, we yeah, couldn't yeah. block with the. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see. Oh, hey now. That's, that's a useful Undergrowth. thing. Undergrowth. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cast spell reveal. Uh, uh, cool. Yeah. Alright. That's definitely going out. Alright. Forest spider. We have six creatures in the graveyard. Yeah. So it means yeah, it's the top we get, six. We get to look at yeah, we get to look at six of them. Yeah. And we get the Defar King Discipline. <laughs> we do not get the seed form. <laughs> That's okay. I'm Dissonant's okay with. Dissonant's good because Dissonant can do can do plus two plus two till it turn. Yeah, no, Dissonant's not bad. This is gonna be good. And then when we untap, we'll be able to pump this at least once. And we have the five set. I mean, yep. we have the spider as well, so that's. Yep. Yep. I'm I'm pretty happy. Now, if if they cast another instant spell, they're gonna probably tap this one so that it won't be. Yeah, a yeah. Block. Yeah. Oh but yeah. At least we'll be able to attack with it the next turn. They don't have enough power to... If we pump the Dissident once, we're not going to have enough... They're not going to have enough power to really deal what with... Is... Oh. So this became a copy of... Arata. Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous. That's really bad. Because now that... that uh, we have to... Oh, can we block yeah. that with anything? Um... Can't be blocked. No. Oh, that's really bad. No. Oh, and it goes, it goes back in the deck though. Okay. Ugh. Okay. 
That's still. But, but they, but they exiled our uh, spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, um. That's... Let's get the swamp out because we need to be able to pump. Yeah. Um. So we can pump. Once, we'll only be able to pump once, and they'll be able to block. Block for the two five. The two five. It's not worth it. it no. Is... Pass a turn. Yep. <clears throat> so they'll be able to. Yep. They're gonna go ahead and draw a card now. Yeah. Yeah. And then they get their other draw card. They're drawing another that. Oh, and now they're yeah, trying to get yeah. that. Yeah, basically they they drew, they removed the charge counters from here, so they could draw a card. Yeah, yeah. They drew they drew a card for their turn. Yeah. Card advantage is a thing. It's totally a thing. Oh yeah, especially in this. Yep. Oh, that's the grid guard. Okay, so it's not. Yeah, this is the grid guard, and that's their exile. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then this is our exile. Yeah. Yep. And this is everything in our graveyard. We got a lot of stuff in our graveyard. We've got 18 cards left. Yeah. And they have 19 cards left. And they're not going to attack because they know we can block. Okay, what do we want to kill? We want to kill this one, right? If we're gonna we're, we're gonna block with the dissident, we're gonna pump it. Yeah, we oh, yeah, kill. yeah. We want to I kill would the Minotaur, kill right? The Minotaur, because, yeah, because then that'll help us overall. Actually, let's block. And then we can that. pump before damage. Oh, that one? Or, no, you're right. Take this. There we go. And then before damage, we can pump. Yep. They probably have some sort of prick, but. And we can all leave it at once. Yep. Yeah. Dang it. And they're probably gonna make it so that can't block. Oh no! Wow. That's a thing. Yep. Wow. Yep. That, that was a good turn for them. So, this one deals damage, we get three life. Oh, and this is. Oh. You know, I read the card wrong. It says when it's part of your graveyard from your library. So if we want to surveil this away, then yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we should just play this. We'll just play this. Yeah. Get three life and then pass a turn. Yeah. It's not great. <clears throat> but... It's not looking good for us. And it's still at seventeen nineteen. <laughs> mm. But yeah, they have a lot of. They have a lot of. This stuff is a sex. really good is it deck for them. Yeah. And then they're gonna kill our. Uh... Wait, did they? Are they gonna be able to? They need to discard a card. Yep, and then they're gonna destroy our bones. Oh no! Well, no. No, they're just gonna attack Holly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh... that's like And we're gonna end a repeat. Not what we need. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can take one more hit. Yeah. From all of their stuff. And it, provided they don't have anything. Provided they don't have anything. <sighs> this is a good deck. Yep, and they do yep. have exactly what They've I didn't want stuff. to see. Direct current. Direct, direct current, current, direct current. And with jumpstart. It has jumpstart, too. Direct current and jumpstart <clears throat> is, is surprisingly, you know, because oh, you, can't, you can't look at it. They can right now because they've only got one red source. Okay, left. well, that's good. But they'll be able, but the thing they'll is, they'll be able to do gonna, it next turn. You know, they're going to be able to do it Five, next six, turn. Eight. And, yeah. And I if mean, I. Get, if we don't get anything, then we have to concede. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah nope. we're probably going to die now. Yeah. Because now they've got plus three. Yep, 
That's it for us. That's it. Game one! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna concede now. I can't concede now. Yeah, no. We... Concede. Yeah, they, they'll get the, they get the satisfaction of... And it's, it is kind of nice to let them get that satisfaction. I I tend to let people... Do their know. things? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 is this, this is the first time I've looked at any, uh, since all of the digital magic stuff, mm -hmm. for, you know, uh, you know, is has been Windows only, and I'm a mm -hmm. Mac person. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't played it though. This is going to be, you know, an, until they get either I, I succumb and put a dual boot or parallel mm -hmm. on, or you know. They get, they get, eventually they will, obviously, you know, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll be able to get Arena on Mac. That's not, mm -hmm. it's Yeah, still, I mean, like, what, there are so many people who want it to be on Mac. There is a lot of people. Built, it, it's built, I know, I, you know, it's built on, on. Um, it's based off of Unity, I believe. Yeah, it is. And, and so it'll be, it will be on, you know, eventually. I, I have no doubt about that. Um, All right. So we've got Guild Gates right. from Foreland. Howard we have a turn two. Uh, we have a turn We've one, got, two, no, and three. Goodness. Yeah. We're no, this is. A, this. I mean. Hello. Uh, let's go. Swamp. Oh, I would have done Gilgate. Oh yeah, we can do poisoner. First. I was yeah. gonna say get the poisoner out so we can attack with it. Yep. Oh, well, and it's also always. And then next turn, and next turn would be Gilgate. Yeah. Unless and, you want to get the next one out. Yeah. Um. Gilgate let me, or... let's, let me think. What's the dis? What's the dissonant? That's a two-two. Yeah, it's currently it's a two-two. It can deal with the child of night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we wouldn't want to block. I I don't want to sacrifice either of them. Two. But we could get it out, and that might be enough to to you know they it might convince them not to attack. I mean, I we wouldn't I wouldn't want to block because I don't think either right. of the, until we, at this point in time. Right. Uh, um, and I don't want to lose this. We one. don't want to lose. We don't. We don't want to use the hired poisoner on a one. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Uh, and just let it through. No, okay. we don't want to block. Okay. No blockers. Ooh. This person is also. This person is green, black, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, now let's get the guild gate out because yeah. this is yep. going to come on. Come down on the four. Yep. Um, no attackers, I think. Um, actually, Unless... actually, I would attack. Do you with... want to I would be okay. I would be okay with trading because the shade, keep on mind, the shade is the pumping stuff. Right. And they're going to be able to pump sooner than we will. Yeah. Yeah. So I think attacking, no, not with the, not with the, the dissident, but the, the poisoner, because they, you know, it's more likely they'll do, mm -hmm. let us do that, but. Okay. We but they'll at least on. let us. We at least got something, and and we're not going to block either of those with it. Okay. Mm, so we're not going to block. We could block hmm. the Child of Night and stop them from getting life. Actually, if I would be block, yeah, they're going to get. Oh, yeah, they're going to get life. Actually, I would block the shade. Get rid of the two two. Okay. But they could pump it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they can pop it? Yep. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, great. They have the go pack is good. Uh... We've only got one creature card in the graveyard. Do we want to take out the Moonblock Painter now? What is, what's the get? When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets menace and gets plus one plus O till end of turn, or X is the number of creature cards in the room. Yeah, no, we want a two, th a two three is going to be too good of a blocker to pass off. Okay, so should we get it out now? Yeah, yeah, we want it, we because that'll block both of those okay. and well, survive. It's gonna, but that's going to be till end of turn. No, but it's always a two three. Oh, wait, target menace gets through. Oh, target creature gets menace. Well, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that and attack with that because they. Yeah. We'll get two in. Yeah, we'll get two in. Okay, then this will block these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll block one of the. Yeah, it'll yeah, block. No, I see what you mean. Well, mm -hmm. well, it'll take out the child of night. It'll because, take. Yeah. It'll we totally don't want to do the child of night. We don't, don't want to do the battle shade. Yeah. Because we got tricked last time. 
Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we need to get some creatures. We need to get some more creature cards. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, this is not going to be fun. Well, they have one gate right now. So yeah, that's not, equip, yeah, that's not going to be great. It's yeah. not a... Four two with menace and vigilance. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Yep. But, uh. mm -mm. Not good. Oh, hey, work on a chest assassin. That's a good thing to have out. Hello. Because then we can attack that. Right. And so we want, we don't want to, uh, do we, do we want to attack with death, death touch again? Um, I'll, let me think, let me, just, let's look at that because it's a 1-1. One, one. Uh -huh. No, they'll, they will trade that for the child. Oh, actually. We're at 12. Yeah, no, we, um, I mean, I, yeah, because I don't think we want to keep on losing to, actually, they're pretty well tapped out. Uh, they're going to do six next turn. Mm -hmm. If we... I think we just attack with a poisoner. See if they'll let it get through. Well, at the same time, we have two actually, but part of me says, well, the four two is yeah, the four two. Actually, yeah, because the four two is got menace right now, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Poisoner. Yeah, go for it. I mean, they'll probably let it through. Oh, sorry, I was running out of time. <laughs> That's a pretty decent trade. They're gonna gain life, but they're but they're not gonna be able to gain any more life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's enough to, to get. I think that's decent. Yeah. And we can now double block this person. Yeah. Because we've got these two to block with. Yeah. Yep. Because this has menace. And, and if then, we block with this, then, it's gonna automatically die. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 I mean, both of our things are gonna die, but theirs is too, so... Yeah, that we... Yep. Yay, but... now nobody has any creatures! <laughs> yep. It, 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 yeah. Oh... If you would draw a card, look at the top three. Got the copy. If you would draw a card, instead look at the top three cards of your library and put one into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Pay four life, it gets indestructible to unturn and then tap it. Huh. Yeah, which is not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, wait, but if no. You, if you pay four life and tap it, then. Well, yeah, but it, it's, it's not a cost, so they can still attack, and it's indestructible for four life. Hmm. Well, it looks like they they uh, decided to take the urban utopia. Yeah. But we oh my gosh, I just realized we could destroy their enchantment. Do you want oh wait, to? actually, well, actually, even better yet. Yeah, it's just target enchantment. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's gonna give that menace. <sighs> And we're taking six. And when blocking it, it's we not going to help. We only have one creature. Yeah. We are in trouble. Once we again. are in trouble. And that, and that, and. Haha. <laughs> yeah, we'll at least have a satisfying. <laughs> we have at least a satisfaction of that. Ooh, Pax Favor. Um... Not, is that a sorcery or an instant? I... It is an instant. Oh, it wouldn't matter anyways, because they're going to have... It's Well, this is 3-3, three, three, right? This is a 3-3. Three, three. If we attack... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's... We can do it, I think. 3-3 three, three, till it's a turn. Attack, and if they don't... And if they block, then... Well, either way, if they block, we, we should do... We yeah. should do it anyways, because we're going to die next turn. Yeah, yeah, we're going to die anyways, yeah. so we might as well attack with that. Might as well. Because, yeah, I might as well. 
we're showing what the card does, not 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 that we're yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because if we pump this to get three three and they block, they're gonna kill each other again. Do you wanna go ahead and do it? Might as Just well. Get, yeah, might Doesn't, as well. Might, yeah. It's sure. either that or concede. Yeah. So we might, and I uh, I mean what like, yeah. Cause they're gonna be able to get six. We got moves. six! There we go. Uh do you wanna just go ahead and concede or do you wanna let them do it? I always think to let them do it. Okay. Part of that's also my habit of I don't know. <laughs> you were one of the you were such a Hufflepuff. Well the other Oh wait, no no no, we have it has vigilance. I yes. forgot it had vigilance. Yeah, but it is it is menace. It is menace because of that. <sighs> You're right. Yeah. But the yeah. but the other thing the other reason why I don't know if I it's also a habit from Hearthstone. Uh, um because yeah. enough of the enough of the there are enough of the quests that involve doing something mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. conceding too soon doesn't help yeah. you know yeah. either you know either of those so <sighs> are there changes we want to make yeah are there changes we want to make do we want to try and make a different deck um sure <laughs> <laughs> all right so I mean, Gorgori did not do us well no which is not surprising but I think I'm wondering if we want to try and what I mean if we can get in what are what are what were our other what were other uh, guild gates that they got us okay let's let's uh, start from that because that might act because I think I think it should still you know we have a Dimmer guild gate one is it one Golgari one Boros two Selesnia which actually I mean and the gateway plaza. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, which which means that we could theorize, you know, I mean, because because if there are, because with two Selesnia ones, we can start splash. We can have like luminous bonds. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, you've already cleared out the whole day. Yeah, you... I cleared out. I cleared out everything. Oh, okay. But we, I mean, we could remake it. That's fine. Um. So we've got Golgari Selesnia Gateway, right? Because I think, because I think, I, I mean, I still think Vraska is like. The plane, you know, the planeswalker, um, as as the leader of the band, yeah, as leader, <laughs> as leader of it, is good. So now, creature wise, do we want to splash for any of these low low white cards? Now, the nice thing about like, um. Hunted Witness is good for getting the Soldier with Lifelink out. Yeah, yeah, Ledev, yeah. Ledev for... Well, that's four mana, though, but... This yes. is... Oh, the... the men They're all the white... Good. All the white are, are fairly easy to... You know, any of those that are... Um, but, like... Because that, that human... The, the, the Light of Guardian, that four or five knight... Mm -hmm. That would be pretty... I mean... Not that... Not the... Not the gift, sorry, the one... That's a good but you said but flight of the flight of the equinox. Um it's oh, that's, that's a, it's a seven it's a seven so it's, it's, an, it's actually, yeah, it's an eight mana card. Yeah, it's pretty I mean, and you'd have to convoke for it pretty heavily. Right. Which is yeah. Um I'm thinking that we definitely wanna put let's maybe do two of the two of the bones. Yeah, I don't think one hired poisoner. This was good. Yeah. Uh, this we should keep. Yeah. This we should put in. Yeah, because we never even got it out last time. Do you want to keep? But actually, one of the fun things about the health collector. Oh no, it's mm -hmm. bigger. Never mind. Never mind. I. Uh, dissident? Yes or no? Yeah, I think I think one. Okay. Uh. Grappling sundew. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Oh, copy was good. Red yeah. is good. Worm is good. Spider is good. Do we Seed. want Seedworm? Yeah, Seedworm is good. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think our overall theme isn't, Assassin. you know, it, 
definitely good. Um, Here's a question. So Ladev Champion, it's a Celestia card, one, one green and white. Whenever Ladev Champion attacks, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Ladev Champion gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Each creature tapped this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it in? I think put it in, yeah. I think that looks... Okay. And then... And then... Do and then not... our... how, many, how are we doing on overall... 19. We're currently 15, um, 15 creatures, three yeah. land, one spell, or yeah. one one at planeswalker. Yeah. We could do center. No, that's each player. We don't want to give anybody else life. That's terrible. Um, glow spare, glow spore shaman. It's a three one for two mana. Um. Actually, a three one isn't bad. We never played it last time, so I don't think That's that. True. I mean, I don't. I don't actually think it hurt. Yeah, you know, so it's not one of the ones that hurt us. Right. So. I mean, I think a lot of times it was. Yeah. But I think, but you know, but I think on the other side, because now that we've got white, we can have luminous bonds, which is. This is true. Which we that, do. Well, yeah, you know, that's that's actually my. Yeah. You know, That's the reason. That's uh, that more than anything Seven else. Good. Yeah, I mean. Do we want righteous blow. Yeah, yeah. That's it's one. It's actually really Pardon. that would have. Crushing canopy. I would actually. I don't think crushing in can. No, crushing canopy was good for us. Yeah, that's true. It got rid of that. What about status? What's status statue? Status statue is either target creature gets plus one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, no, yeah. that's all. That, yeah, we definitely want that. Okay, That's so good. then pause for reflection. No, it, no. no, I'm never. I'm ne it was okay. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Actually, I think. I think that's a more. My impression is, if you're going to play creeping chill at all, you mm -hmm. want it in us. You want it in a surveil deck. Yeah, no, you're right about that. Yeah, I mean that's. Do we want urban utopia? Um, since now we're going we white. now that we're going three colors, yeah, that that doesn't hurt us, and it's. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now we can suggest the land. And, and now it's got us at 41. Okay, what do we want to so, draw? So, do we want to draw? Okay, so we've got Celestia Gold Gate, Get Weep Plaza. That's two sources of white. Maybe just drop one of the planes. Or drop one of the forests. Oh, if anything, I think we can drop a forest. Okay. Cool. So now that's forty card. You get so this is our this is our curve, which is not really a curve. Mm -hmm. uh, sixteen creatures, oh, eight yeah, spells, yeah, yeah. sixteen land. We good with that? Yeah, I think I'm I'm good with that. I'm gonna change the name then. <laughs> uh, this is wait, green, black, white. Is that Abzan? I don't remember any of those. I'm I, I, this up. Uh, yeah. I think it is Obson. And I I don't know the 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 color names. Yeah, well that point. Yep, it's Obson. Alright. Let's try this one. Last round. Yeah. We've got two losses so far. And we're at least <sighs> gonna get two hundred gems and three packs. <laughs> it might be as good as we get. <laughs> Which is okay, because this is I'm just okay. for fun. Yeah, this I'm... is just for fun. Oh, I'm not very good, so. <laughs> yeah, I is, uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got Gateway Plaza, Swamp Forest. We've got all three colors. We've got the Enchantment. We've got the Christian Canopy. And we've and we got no creatures we can play, so I'm gonna thinking more again. We don't have any creatures we can play. Yeah, yeah, because we would want one. We don't have one. Yeah, we don't have a creature in our hand. In that yeah, we're hand. not gonna have a creature until seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not good. So let's, yeah, let's. Of course, everything else is worse because that's just yeah. how it goes when you mulligan. Yeah. That's worse still. 
Ugh. It's not going to get any better. I'm doing one more, just because. All right, okay. we'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bottom. Ugh. Well, this is not good. This is, no, this is terrible. Oh. Oh, we have hope. <laughs> now we need creatures. Now we need small creatures. We should have kept that first hand. We should have kept that first hand. That's oh, we goes. got the barrier bones. Hey. Now we can surveil. Uh, no, that goes in the graveyard. Yep. That is not going to do us any good in our hand, but at least we can bluff this. What is the F? Yeah, this it's one a, oh. Oh, flung yeah. in haste. That's not good. Uh, yeah. And then this one has mentor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not gonna help. Oh, we can put out the pellet oh, collector. Oh, collector. Yay. So we're gonna get him for another two because it's flying. Mm hmm. Ah, trample. Fun. Well, they can't pump that this turn. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna make that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, this has Breach. Hello. That was useful. Very useful. No attackers. We've got... They've not... Um, yep. We can't attack into that. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> so this will be able to block that. Yep. This can block any one of these. Yep. Two. <laughs> well, we'll be able to block one of them. It's gonna mentor. Yep, that makes sense. Yep. So let's look here. And... Look, it doesn't matter which one of these we block, huh? No, it doesn't really. Just one of them. They're all two. Yeah. Oh, we'll pick the trampler. Be yeah, that makes sense. Because we absorb that trample damage. Yeah. Uh... Guild gate. <laughs> uh... for one? No, we. No, no, we okay. need to keep our. We need to keep our blockers. Okay. So uh... now they're gonna get it. So this is four. At, at, the, uh, at the very least, we can get four. No, because we can block one of them. Yeah, we can block one of them. Oh, that guy. Oh, great. That oh, guy's and mentor. No. Okay. Now we're not. In, yeah, this is. This is this is untenable. Um, At least I don't feel bad about mulliganing because with this setup, <laughs> we would not have been able. Well, I'm the, I, I feel they've got bad because I'm the one who decided to mulligan. No, so, that's okay. Uh, so that's three, it, it, We would not have been able to survive all of it. Seven. Yeah. Uh, let's just do that. This this absolutely confirms that in sealed, you know, for me, Golgari, you know, that this isn't, and we don't have enough to even get that yeah, out. Yeah. I'm just going to concede. See, yep. I, yeah. Yep. We're done. Oh, one thing. No, but before we do that, before we do that, yeah. we're going to be nice. Oh, yes. And then we're going to concede. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a blowout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was really. Yeah. That was really. But, but yeah, Boros, least... Boros is really strong. It is so strong. But we've got two green gems and three packs to open. So yeah. let's go open all our packs now. Yay. All right, we got 13 packs to open. Let's just keep ripping. So the way the way Arena goes is that these the packs they give you they're actually smaller. They have what there was five, six, seven, eight cards per pack. Mm -hmm. And what these are, these are wild cards. So if there's a card that you want, and you have the correct kind of wild card, you can actually get it. It's like buying a card, but yeah. it's with these wild card things. And every time you open packs you can earn you get, additional yeah. wild cards right sure and then sure. this of course is the rare which in this case we could this so this one's blood operative so that's good 
That's nice. I haven't seen that one yet before. So then now we've got two more wild cards and Midnight Reaper. Yay. This is going to be great for my horse deck. Yeah, yeah. I like making horse decks. I had a nice, I, my, yeah, my, I had a nice deck that I just Whoa. took apart. We have a rare wild card. That's going to yeah, be great. Midnight Reaper, yeah. Another, that's going to be awesome. Another Is It Guild Gate. I think something telling me that, that, that they want me to play is it. Is yeah. A uh, creature card converted on a cousin. Huh. Wow. This is this is awesome. Did you see this? Yeah, that's a menagerie. Yeah. That if cool. with the right with the right with the right deck for sure. Oh, yeah. Maybe a one. You need a one, a two, and a three in your graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, summer streams. Bounty of might. Whoa. What? Oh, that. That's bust. That that, that is, is really, so busted. It's so because it, because notice notice it's target cre It can be any combination. In my in my pre-release, someone played on played that on on one creature and gave it you know mm. I made it nine nine, nine. at the end of turn. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it's not that is so busted. Yeah yeah. Lesnar get there. Ooh, a rare wild card. You're gonna have to help me pick out which rare is it, uh, this rare one. Let's see, Roboport. That was in your storm. Wow! Look at that! That's awesome! This is a mythic rare. Yeah. Alright. Swiftly. This is awesome. Um, what? And that. You do not. Because and then if you, you mentor it, then it's gonna be mad. You basic, I mean, one one for two, nah. Mm -hmm. But, but especially once you start mentoring it up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then it's then that. It's gonna be crazy. That can get. Not amoeba, yay! Good, the fun for the surveil. That's a great card. The Sphinx. I like Sphinxes though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good card too. Yeah, Crackling Drake is neat. Beast Whisperer. Whoa, that's nice. And it's yeah. only for four mana. Mm -hmm. That's great. Another Narcomoeba! Yay! Sonic Assault. Yeah! yeah. Look at that! Okay. So Arr. now you now you got your signal that, that it's time to build yeah. an Izzet deck. I, I need to build an Izzet deck now. Yeah. And another rare wild card. So so now let's go and make a deck. Yeah. Now I have two wild cards that I could use. And if we were to go and look at all the myth careers that I don't have, of course, you've got your Dominaria cards, you've got the other Planeswalkers, yep, all, sets. all these other creatures that you can get. Um, Liliana Necromancer, there's like a lot of really good stuff that you could get. Demon Lord Bells and Knock. Wow. I don't know if I'm gonna get any of these right now. <laughs> Sarkon. Vivian the Arc Bow. I think I have the other I had the other Vivian card. Planeswalker. I yeah. that's I love Planeswalker so much. They're yeah. too much fun to play with. <sighs> really is good. Oh, really? It's really good. That's actually really good. Yeah. I might go for that. For That's one funny. of these wild cards, Tashana. I actually, I actually pulled uh, this one in real life. The Vivek just has money. I actually yeah. have that one. Motley, Mox Amber. Because why not? There's also Card. Yeah. Card is good. Ugh, I don't know. Well, we've got the Raw Zero at all. Well, I've got the Raw Zero at already. Yeah. We, I could get Raw Call Raw no. Call of Storms. Yeah. No, I think I, I think I can get the Aurelia. Yeah, that's too good. Yeah, and that. Yep. All right. So. 
Um, so that does that mean we were build, building a? Well, we could build a deck with a rally out, or we could just like this is basically a way for you to be able to turn your 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 uh, wild cards into other cards. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and we can also see what kind of rares there are that we can get, and then we can just take these out and then just start building a deck. Okay. Okay. Um, these are all okay. That's actually really good. Johnny's Last Stand is good. There's a lot of really good cards that I could be getting. Oh yeah, yeah. And I love, I love these sagas so much. Oh yeah, I hope I they, love I what hope they do. I hope they come in future. You know the, mm -hmm. that it's not. I hope they uh, use that mechanic again sometime. Yeah, yeah. Or do something different with it. Tesseract Gatebreaker. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of good stuff. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet that's why. I bet it's. Yeah. It's probably from the Tesseret Planeswalker mm -hmm. deck or something like that. Kind of Temple of Sundering. What's one card that I really, really love that I want to get out of Guilds of Veronica? Chain Rover is good. Oh, okay. oh, also, this one's actually, even though it's a rare, it's banned in Arena. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, it's banned in standard, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, gosh, I don't know what to get. There's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, without having, you know... Niambi. Not unless you have the... Not unless you have right. the query. That's... Right. I don't have... I'm, you don't have much, yeah. I kind of want this one. I want Zodi because Zodi is good. Yeah, that's supposed to be very Zodi good. Zodi is so good. I'm going to yeah. get one. Yeah, you can okay. get whatever. Yeah. You know, this right. is your collection, not my collection. <laughs> Why, you know. All don't right, listen so. to me. You know. <laughs> All right, so. I, we want to build a deck. We want to try and build a deck and do maybe one more game. Okay. Just do one more game. So, yeah. what do we want to build? I don't I know think... what all you have. I think let's go. Well, okay. We were yeah. Let's go. Is, is it? it? We had we had. Is it because let's we get, have that? Let's get, let's, 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 get do Ral, let's do a row. Let's do a deck. I have both of them. That. Oh wait, no! I have both arts. Yeah, I have. Both oh yeah, of these. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think you got one is. I think yeah. This that's... is the arena card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the arena the version, but this is the actual guilds of Ravnica version. So let's put that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. And then, so let's see what I have creature-wise that's in blue and green. It's like, the way I normally build a deck is I start by looking at, okay, what what creature what creature do I want to play around first? Yeah. And then I look at the top end first, actually, yeah. to see what bombs I want to play. So when it comes to the, to, to the upper end, I've got these to deal with. I've got... Sphinx, which is good, and surveils. Yep. Um, so we'll put that in. We've got Watcher in the Mist, which is also good. It's a three, four, four, or five. But it has surveil too. So that's good. Um so that's six, that's five. Um let's see. Do I want a higher? Rossidons, Dragon Queen. That'd be a dragon deck. We're not looking at a dragon deck. We're not looking fun. at a dragon deck. But I mean, that's I mean, the volcanic dragon is still good because volcanic we, dragon is good. Yeah, I mean, it's still it's still something that will be. You know, we need some yeah, pretty. Yeah, this, this I mean, good. based on our far pool. This yeah, is a good bomb to have. Yeah. And we've got three of them. That I could put in the deck, but it's that's still like I'd need to ramp badly if I wanted to do that, or mm -hmm. or I'd be surveilling and drawing cards. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's look at the other. Let's look at the other um, mana cost creatures. Yeah, let's. Yeah, we already we do have a fair amount of stuff already at the high end. All right. So blue wise, we're not in artifacts. Nope. This is good though. 
one one for one flying, but you can sack it to counter a spell or ability. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. Um, this has defender. It's 2-2 two, two with defender. And when you surveil, it can put a plus one, plus one counter on it. I don't think we're going to have enough surveil. We'd have to be all in on surveil. And I suspect, That's true. I suspect we I'm still have. I'm putting the knock amoebas in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm also putting the open speakers because Scry is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, Passwall Adept is pretty good. Wall of Mist is good. It's good to have defenders. Yeah. I like Demir Informant a lot. I like the I like the Demir Informant a lot. That gets in. I like I like Academy Drake for what we're doing. Sure. Because small, like a it's small kicker. Oh, oh the, the Tempest Lover Gin. Runner. Oh Lover no, that's Runner's Island. Gonna be, Lover Runner is going to be good for um. For if we're doing, is it? That is true. That we actually. Put some lava runners in. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have just one lava runner because it only gets yeah. plus one. Um, use Drake gets you cards. That's good. I don't think we're in the artifact deck. Nope, we're not. Yeah, we're not building an we're artifact. Totally not doing artifacts. This has haste. Let's put that in because it's got mentor. Goblin SD8 was always good. Yeah. Uh, lightning. Uh, I like uh, lightning mare. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do like lightning mare. I do like it. Order goblin. How many? How many? How many creatures do we before we need lands? Well, we're at sixteen creatures. This yeah. is gonna be a step. Oh, before. oh, it's already, it's already yeah, including is, land. It's already, yeah, it's already, land. yeah, it's already computing land. So okay. this is currently nope, for we... a sixteen creatures. We need to get some more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not. This is good. Yeah. Um, Menace is nice. Get along with Kicker. Pyromantic Pilgrim, that's always good. It's good to have two of those. Um. Do you want the pig to get in? Yeah, let's. I. <laughs> I'm just a fan of the yeah. <laughs> we're not actually. Oh, let's see. Now we're at twenty-one creatures. I wanna, I wanna put some. I wanna put the spells in real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we, gonna make a difference. Yeah, we haven't done that. This is good. Oh, that's two of those, and an opt is good. The lake of an eye. We need some removal. The disperse. No, I mean I'm thinking better. I mean those. Better than I that? mean, like counter. Yeah, counters. yeah. Was... Scatter gets in. Red Sinister... gets in. Sinister sabotage. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yep. I think it's, and water knot is water knot. I I. Devious um uh, no actually we don't have enough of this oh actually that's all target cards and we can get cards back from the graveyard yeah 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 and they they shuffle back in that's kind of fun one of those maybe or... let's get some red removal yeah shock let's... lightning strike shock Sure strike? Nah. Nah. I'm not. Let's, let's check out one of the Active treason. Active treason. Always good. That's fine. I love active treason. Oh, I, I really got somebody good with this card the other day. Fight with fight. Uh, fight fire with fire. Yeah. I got. Basically, I did two damage to a creature and eight damage straight to their face. It was awesome. Yeah. So, do you want to put this one in? Sure. Uh, one more card. Let's see what else. Beacon Bolt. Oh, yeah, we didn't even look at it. Yeah, we didn't at, even at, look at all the, have... the multicolored. Beacon Bolt and, and Sonic Assault. What's, uh, what does Beacon Bolt do? I haven't... 
Uh, Beacon Bolt deals damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard, in exile, and in your, and in your graveyard, and then you can jumpstart it. Yeah. This is also good, too, the Banefire. Yeah, Banefire. Let's do Banefire Let's do instead. Banefire. Alright, yeah. so that's 60. A little burn. A little bit of burn. So that's 21 creatures, 15 spells, 24 land. I'm just gonna really look quickly, look really quickly to see what kind of artifacts I have. Yeah. Uh, Demir Locket, Boros Locket. Uh, Traveler's Amulet's good. Uh, Arcane Encyclopedia's good. Meteor Gobble. Oh. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't have. Well, I mean, I don't have any good artifacts yet, but I do have seven uncommon wild cards. Four common wild cards and six rare wild cards. So let's see which artifacts I don't own that could be good in this deck. Um, we should. I need an Is it Locket? Yeah, I need to get an Is it Locket? Yeah. And I actually found the lo the lockets to be really good. They are good. Um. Navigator's Compass is good, too. Nah, it doesn't actually get you... It's um, not, in the past, it has helped me a lot. Yeah. Millstone. No, we're not on a mill plan. <laughs> Chromatic Lantern? I think if we were doing, I think if we those would be if we were doing more color, yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> right, Manolith? that's three. That's, that's yeah. Three mana though. Da, da, da. Yeah, I don't see any other artifacts that I'd want in this deck. Yeah, but we do want. Yeah, yeah let's see what's because. If uh, any of the any of the land, because if we have the multicolor, mm -hmm. you know, both. Let's do Sulfur Falls is good. Let's get one guild gate in there. Do I you guys should be enough. Do I have any? Do you want to put Gateway Plaza in? No, no, I don't think we need. Guild matches for him. No. No, we don't have any. Well, we only have the one multicolor planeswalker, yeah, yeah, and that doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Unless you want to put maybe a couple of evolving worlds in, so you can uh, get the right mana out. Nah, uh, maybe. Uh, but let me let me check. I want to check to see. Sure. <laughs> Wait, thirteen island, ten mountain, one is it Guildgate, and one Sulphur Falls. Is that is that? Yeah, that should be okay. Well, we need to take two. I mean, we're currently at 62 cards. So we have to take two out. Yeah. Now, do you want to take out land or do you want to take out some of these spells? Um, how, many, how much land do we have? 25. Like, take out an island and a mountain? Yeah. To make it even? Yeah. So we got 12 island, 9 mountain, guildgate, so falls, then the locket. I think that should be good. Yeah. Yeah. Is it spells? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the other thing you can do with um, Arena is that you can either do a one-off match, which yeah. is like one game, one and done. You can also do what's called competitive play, where you can play your deck for like against the same person. Yeah. Um, or you can do competitive constructed, etc. I think let's just do one more game. With this yeah. deck. Yeah. And I think that should uh, do it for us for today. So, one that game! Sounds good. I really enjoy playing Guilds of Veronica. This is really, this is a really fun set.
yeah, I've been. I, I'm. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to drafting it. That should mm-hmm. be. Are you gonna be that, drafting this weekend? Probably. I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Lodestone yeah. again. Likely. Likely. I mean. We can't keep this. I mean, no. we could, but we shouldn't. No, not with any. Not with any blue sources. I mean, I mean we have the lava we runner. Have one, we only have yeah. one creature. No. I would. I would go down one. This That's better. better. That's better. Can't play that. We can't play that. In yeah, we can. Board. We have a turn yeah. one. We have a turn one we'll... and a turn three. That's, That's okay. good. Good enough. Oh yeah, put that on. And we'll... Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And actually, let me. Yeah, let. I want to. Goblin, can you click on got what Goblin Beginner does? Mentor. Sure, mentor. And then when you uh, what for one in a red, oh, it's plus two plus zero till end of turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. And target yeah. one. Yeah, I'd Not, say that goes. I say we do this first. Okay. And then basically we could get this out, and then when you get the next one out, then we'll be able to plus it and. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna be able to play the pig. Yay! <laughs> I one of the things I actually like that's different about the you know, especially arena stuff mm-hmm. um is when you do is I mean one of the reasons why I primarily do draft and limited mm-hmm. stuff is is you know, there's less of the, the the flexibility that you have when you go to a store mm-hmm. of building any deck because you really need to start looking at what's going to work well. Mm-hmm. You can shock. You can shock the. I would. Um. Yeah. I, I would. Sh- but sure. if they block, we, well, see, here's the thing. This one has prevent all damage that all, can alter it. Yeah, all combat I damage. I don't think. We- but we can shock it, can't we? Oh yeah, we can. You're right. Yeah. So attack yep. and then shock. No, shock and then attack. Oh well, I've already. It, we're already oh. in combat phase. Oh yeah, yeah. Because um, I was gonna say, well, I think we should do it. I think yeah. we should do this. One attacker. Yep. Oh. Uh, so we're gonna shock it. Yeah. Okay. We can shock before damage. Yep. Yeah. It's still blocked, but that's yep. okay. That's fine. Everything is fine. So then turn four pig. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna give probably this plus two plus zero till end of turn. Well, either one of them. But this one, eh. We can give either one of these plus two plus so when the pig comes in. Mm-hmm. Actually, give that plus, give the banneret because then it can met, can then they can both go in and attack. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yep. Cause so, cause then you can you can right. pop. We can force that. Mm-hmm. And then we can we and then it will be able to mentor. Mm-hmm. Lava mm-hmm. Runner. It'll mentor the lover runner. You're right. Yep. I mean, and and we can take out. You know, I mean, and if we attack with both, it'll trade for one of the two, presumably, but... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. But then, the, and then that can mentor... hmm This is going to mentor the Lava Runner. Yep. At the very least, we're demonstrating the mechanic. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it's such a good mechanic, though. Actually, mentor I, is great. I really yeah. like Mentor a lot. Yeah. Yep. I mean, either way, they're going to kill one of these. Oh yeah, they're going to kill one of them, or block one of them. But I, but then the other gets through, and mm-hmm. next, and then next turn we'll be able to. And pl- and, and yeah, because I don't think they wanted 
this to be able to be mentored again. So that actually makes ah. Okay. Ooh. Well, that. Yeah. But they well, wasted. You know, it's technical growth. Actually, that's not bad at all. That's... Because it got it out of the way. Mm. And they wouldn't be able to titanic growth this, which is good. Yeah. Oh, Sarah Angel. Uh... Alright. Yeah. Uh, we Ooh. can't kick this. But. For, yeah, this is. Yeah, right. that's three, four, five. We can't kick it, but we can play it. Yeah, and that'll at least keep. That might shut. It's something. Shut. Yeah. Actually, so why don't we let's it? We can't attack, so we're just gonna play it and pass. Yeah, I think it's yep. Yeah, if we can't kick it, that's too bad. But <sighs> uh. so we need one more instant to go into the graveyard in order for this to get another plus one. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just let it through for now? I mean, it's got first time. Runs. Yeah, first time might as well. First run's free. Yep. I, I mean, eventually we'll sacrifice the Drake to it if mm -hmm. we have nothing better. Ooh, that'll yeah, let us surveil. try. Surveil. I ended up with three of these in my is it deck. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like goes, yeah. I mean, like it says it's a demure informant, but you know the is it use them. Oh yeah, exactly. And that'll be good because that's even a better blocker on that. We can. We're gonna need this for the Sphinx. Oh yeah, we want yeah yeah. How many do we need? Just maybe put one thing? of them in the graveyard and keep yeah. the other. Is one that is that enough to get us the Sphinx? One, two, three, four, five, six. How much was the Sphinx? I can't remember. Um, what's the Sphinx? Uh, the... I can't remember which Sphinx it was either. City Watch. It was the City Watch Sphinx. So it's a six mana. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. At least we so will do it. Then, we'll then, then all we need is one. So yeah, let's put one to the... Yep. yep. Six mana. That's what we want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No attack. <laughs> no attack this turn. And the Sphinx will at least be able to block the trade for the Sarah. Yeah, this this will definitely be able to block this. So the Demir and will block the Swift Claw. Yep, forever. And, let's... Uh, I mean, you know what we could... Yeah, and then let's go ahead and let them get over four more next turn. Yeah, and the city watch. Then the city watch sinks. Yep. Which will be even more surveil action. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Look at that. Five, four, four, six. Mm hmm. And when, so, and when it dies, you get to surveil too. Mm hmm. You really got to do boots so you can play this. this is so yeah, I'm, I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to do it, yeah. This is really a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, and as I said, I think one of the things that I like, because, yeah, because when I go, I mean, one of the problems with Constructed going to stores mm -hmm. is you really, is, is that it's against, you know, you're going to be competing against people that have fairly top tiered. <coughs> mm -hmm. Decks where arena matches you with skill level. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually it does feel a little bit more fair that way. I mean, there's yeah. the problem. There is a there is the issue where people can use their wild cards to buy the best cards, or you know, purchase <laughs> gems to be able to buy. Oh more yeah, packs. yeah, yeah. Um, that's but always going to be a thing. But you're going to play against the people. I mean, I know that they pair you against people with the similar. A similar ranking, yeah. And so it's you know where and the not and the volume of players that you get on arena mm -hmm. is different than you know any store, mm -hmm. which has a smaller set. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Like the thing I do appreciate about Arena is that number one, you can play it without your pants on. <laughs> yeah. But number two, um, you can just have fun. Yeah. Like you do it. There's no pressure like there is in regular NTGO online. Mm -hmm. Um, because because you can't really talk to your opponent. Yeah. I mean, you can do some sort of banter with um with the emote system. But not a lot. But yeah. not a lot. I mean But I mean in the store that's why you know, I mean it's most of the time I'm I'm mostly in mm -hmm mid format because it's it's everyone gets the same sets of cards to begin with mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Dra i think draft and uh free releases are, are yeah. pretty much where i stay when it comes to uh playing yeah yeah magic yeah however when i was at uh gp minneapolis uh the 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 one that was this past summer yeah i i uh i learned about a new um format that was created by some folks down in um who work at the mayo at the mayo clinic yeah and it's called oathbreaker it's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like commander it's it's like if you fused commander and brawl together that's that's what i've seen yeah i've seen i've seen them because i I dumped. I. I mean, because they basically. Took, they were basically taking um um bulk all, cards. Yeah, I gave them. Up. I gave them all my bulk cards. You know, yeah. So, so however many thousand that are worth <laughs> ten cents and. Yeah. But it's actually really you know so they get you know it was like. You know, being yeah, being able were, to do that. I, I, I like I that. I can't remember exactly what kind of charity. They were a social club, which yeah. is different from a five hundred one c three, and what they do. Yeah, they're five hundred one C seven, I think, is the yeah. technical. Yeah, and so basically, they use the money that they raise for their club events to help you know teach more kids to play magic, and they basically mm -hmm. they they use their funds to be able to hold their events and just get together to have a great time and play magic. And I really, really, really want to drive down one day and and go to one of their events. It's just they're they're based in Rochester. Yeah, um, which should be a heck of a drive just to play magic. But then again, I also. When I was on vacation in Toronto, I specifically went to to play Magic in Toronto because then I could say that I that I got to play Magic in one one country. I, so here's a question: They've got one, two, three, four, five mana up. They've got two cards in hand. They're attacking with the Sierra Angel. Do we double block, or do we just block with the Academy Drake? Um, I would double block and and pray that they don't make it bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yep, double block in that case. Yep. Yep. Had a feeling. Yeah. Ooh, but that's still not enough. That's still not enough. Well, four, five, six. Ah. Uh, Eight. Yeah, it's gonna get us. But that's okay. And we I'm don't have enough to kill it because yeah. we only have seven power coming to it. Yeah. Ah. Uh... But they had to use two spell. They, I mean, they had to use. I mean, that's out. a second titanic growth down. Yeah, yeah. But then when they cut, they're going to come back around with eight, and that's we've only got twelve right now. We may need to start forcing them to use these to block. Yeah, I, because if we attack with the if we attack with the boar, this will kill it. But at least we get to surveil. That's something. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm keeping both, both of these on top. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And we want this one to come up first. Yep. Yeah. Because we can kick it. Five, six. Six no. plus no, we don't have enough to kick. But we don't want to anyway. Well, we, we, no, want, we can, we want we can to, still we, kill it. We can yeah, still we want kill to it. kill it. We want Let's to kill it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And, yeah, and now, yep. and this, now, now we can attack with this. It's going to be able to. They can trade with one of these for the Gita Long Runner. If we attack with both of these, they'll have to block with both of them, or one of them, or whatever. Yeah. 
we're top decking, and once they get rid of this card, they will be top decking also. Yep, that's true. Let's put some pressure on them. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Because this will block both of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they now need to decide whether or not they want to get block and either of these, or both, or one at all. Mm hmm. Yeah, I kind of regret that I didn't that that you that when I was in uh, Finland on the Worldcon stuff mm -hmm. that that was before I got it back. I mean, I <laughs> before I got back into Magic. Yeah. Because um, yeah. they were because it was dumb. I mean, I went to game stores and even mm -hmm. like and and I saw you know I and and but you know there you know and I could have gotten because I think they had various international packs. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. that of stuff as well. I didn't even. I didn't. I wasn't checking into it in in great detail. Just in a, you know, just in the kind of the casual mm -hmm. uh, um, piece. But mm -hmm. uh... I don't want to jinx it, but I'm actually surprised they haven't sealed away or. Taking vengeance or yeah yeah um anything else uh, like that yet yeah because they were gonna do that <laughs> yeah because they have they have a quality so they're gonna be able to plus one and actually get her up to six her minus one isn't great for them right now no but. And the eight and where they are right now, with both of us in top deck mode, this is not a great card for them to have. Yeah, it doesn't actually. This I'm not actually not worried about that yeah, Watley at all. Yeah, not worried about the Watley right now either. Yeah, even the emblem isn't isn't. Yeah, yeah. the emblem was not great for them. I yeah. mean, it is, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's card advantage, but it's not. From the will of many, the might of one. Ooh, Essence Scatter. Yep, we already um, knew that. Yep, let's do this again, because why yep. not? Actually, let's maybe put Attack Her, and then do that. Which one? Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> I hope they play a creature card because then we can essence scatter. Yep. Yeah, let's slow them down because we because we know we can keep on doing this and they're not they're yeah they're, they've got they're resisting got them on, blocking. They've got them on, we've got them on a two turn clock right now. Yeah. And if they attack with a swift clock, we get blocked with the junior informant and yep. kill it. Yep. So. Basically, yep. That's a counter. <laughs> yep. That was very satisfying. That was so satisfying. <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> Victory! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Oh, man. What a way to end this session of we get Myth the Gathering Arena. And we get Sea Red, which Excellent. is an enchantment creature uncommon for two red, uh, for one red and a, and a, for one red, for one, one mana, one red. Enchanted creature gets two, two, plus two, plus one, and has three strike. And if the, at the end, at the beginning of your end step, if you didn't attack with it, then you sack it. Which is interesting. So, but yeah, that is it for us for today. Thank you so much, Michael, for joining us today in playing Magic Thank you, that was fun. Today. I'm oh. glad you had fun. Thanks for building this deck with me. Thanks for talking about the pre release. You know, if we do, if would you like to do this again sometime? Sure, sure. Cool. Yeah, I, yeah. Cool. Anyway, so this has been Trisha Lynn. And this has been Michael. Um, on behalf of both Geeking Out About and Twin Cities Geek, thank you so much for watching this, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.
Chains right to my brain, no thought, just sensation. Don't look at me, can't see. I don't wanna talk to you. I'm plugged into the world, I'm wired, wired but disconnected. 